Rory and Ma announced the end of their Sirius deal. We're coming to the end of our deal with Sirius, which was two years, but you know, we had check-ins every day because right. okay. so much of that at that point was short term because we were still figuring out what we wanted to do with this entire thing. Yeah. So we're just now, I think, having those long form yeah. conversations because everything was so much in the moment. Like, all right, we tried this yesterday. Mm. What'd you think about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, let's try this tomorrow. All right, let's 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 get some writers. Let's do some other yeah, sketch yeah. stuff. Let's. Yeah. Mm. I think now with this transition from the serious deal is when we're like, all right, what does five years look like mm. now that we have these two years under our yeah. belt? I always like doing it like that. Mm. Yeah. Like some people are outside like, oh, that's trash, that's whack. We just started. <laughs> that's right. On an interview with Pastor Meerkat, Rory and Maul finally address the status of their serious deal moving forward and it looks like their deal will be ending at the end of 2023 now this is a big deal as this represents a big transition for the show and the way rory answered this question gives me insight into the current state of affairs for the rory and maul podcast for those of you that don't know, Rory and Maul had a well-publicized falling out with the self-proclaimed podfather Joe Budden several years ago. They left the podcast and started this new venture, New Rory and Maul. And the show started with a bang, garnering hundreds of thousands of views. But soon enough, those views cratered, and many wondered about their commitment to podcasting. As time went on, it just appeared like they weren't as dedicated as you think they would be after leaving Joe Budden. Maury barely had any hot takes. Maul just looked lackadaisical. And overall, it appeared as if the two didn't really care for the art of podcasting. Now that their deal with Sirius is over, we're finally going to see what Rory and Maul are really made of. But like I said prior, the answer Rory gave to this question is giving me a lot of insight into what the future is is holding for the two as it appears like rory and maul are having more deeper discussions about the future of the show and the greatest complication to the show is maul that's right jameel clay aka the eight maul is one of the most interesting podcasters in the game i feel as he is not the most enlightening when it comes to conversation but he still has a presence a presence that helped make the Joe Budden podcast with Rory and Maul one of the most special podcasts to ever exist. But a few years into new Rory and Maul, I estimate that he is the one holding the podcast back. And the evidence I have for this is his back and forth with Eden about chasing salacious headlines or talking about clickbaity topics. It is here that I saw a type of logic that will not allow the Rory and Maul podcast to grow. I'm sorry, Maul, but if you look at your channel, the two videos that cater to the topics people wanted to hear about and the drama about the secret meeting with Joe Budden were one of the few videos to crack 100,000 views in months. It's a strategy that works. I really think Maul doesn't understand analytics, he doesn't understand what gets people listening, and as a result, the Rory and Maul podcast has encountered a lot of hurdles just because of the street logic he is trying to apply to content creation. I think Rory is in a different spot. He just had a child, and I believe that he's trying to make the best of the podcast and create some momentum for the show, and could be growing into something special but that remains to be seen. I really feel for Rory, as it looks like he's inherited the Maul problem. If y'all don't remember, it appeared like Maul didn't even take the Joe Budden podcast serious. I think he used to arrive late and was always on his phone. Granted, he's not on his phone as much now, but I know Rory on the podcast has complained about how Maul arrives late, so it's always hard to teach an old dog new tricks. I firmly believe if the two invest in trying to make the podcast as interesting and as engaging as possible, they will be fine and regularly break 100,000 views. It's clear to me that their breakup with Joe Budden had a serious impact on them, and they didn't want to be like the Joe Budden podcast, which hurt the show, as why wouldn't you want to be like one of the biggest podcasts in the game? Yes, Joe Budden engages in clickbaity reality TV tactics, but he does so because they work. 
Not saying that Rory and Maul have to do the same thing, but they should look to apply their brand to that brand that succeeded so well. Play around with things a little bit. Maybe take the topic that everybody wants to hear about and start the podcast immediately with it. Don't talk about, ah, you know, I went to the mall and I saw uh, Babyface Ray and I was like, hey, Babyface Ray, how you doing? It was cool. Babyface Ray is my homie. Nobody cares about that, dog. Talk about the topics people want to discuss. Also, it might be time to actually go on a true press run. I am truly sick of Rory and Maul doing press runs with people we don't know about, podcasters we don't know. Not saying they have to stop that, but there's no reason why the two haven't gone on Math Hoffa's show, Million Dollars Worth a Game, or Drink Champs. Those guys are thirsty for interview subjects, and Rory and Maul surely would be welcome there. I think they're just afraid of talking about the drama with Joe, but with the deal over, it would be a great way to garner attention. So what if people think they're clout chasing and clickbaity? You're literally trying to feed your families, right? Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think the end of the serious deal means for Rory and Maul? Will they even survive? As if they don't have the energy to keep the show up, they might just give up completely and go in different directions. I do think Rory could be a successful podcaster, but Maul continues to remain someone who is an enigma. He has these thoughts about what podcasting should be, but isn't putting in the work to actually make any effective change. He's just criticizing what is, which often leads to massive failures. Alright y'all, that's my video for today. I wish Rory and Maul the best, but if they fall off, I will be here reporting it. Follow me on Instagram to stop TV. Follow me on Twitter to stop TV. This is Danny from the stop. Peace. Danny from the stop. Oh shit. Oh, bullshit. Shit. Oh, bullshit. I will find one of you niggas. I will f one of y'all up. And I mean that shit bottom of my heart.